I'm reminded of a really interesting incident I, uh, or experience. Uh, almost over a year ago, I traveled to Oman. And we had a program there. There was a program that I attended in a masjid uh, for about seven days. It was a, in Ertikaf. There were about 500 of us that stayed there. And there were, this was a, a, a steady program for just reflecting on the Qur'an. That's what it was. And there were rules for attending this program. And one of the rules was you have to leave your cell phone, astaghfirullah al You have to leave your cell phone with the, the custodians. And if, if there's an emergency, they'll contact them. But for seven days, you don't have your phone. I don't even know how you can breathe without your phone anymore. But we, we did it somehow. So there's no phone with us. And the second thing was you can only mention your name and you can only mention where you're from. But you can't say anything else about yourself. Nothing else. There were people there that were scholars of hadith. There were people there that were millionaires. There were people there that were shuyu mashayikh, that are teaching their whole life. There were people there that own two camels, and that's their entire life, is taking care of those camels. There were people there that were taxi drivers. But we don't know who's who. Nobody knows who's who. All you can say is, ismi kada wa kada wa anamin, and that's it. That's all. And you don't say, this is how old I am, this is what I do for a living, this is what my job is. Nope, nothing. And when you're going to discuss Qur'an, you can't even quote scholars or technical Arabic things or whatever because that might give somebody a clue, this guy is a scholar. So you can't talk like that. You have to keep everything basic. These are part of the rules. right? And the vast majority of the people that attended, were I was probably one of the only few that wasn't a scholar. Like They were scholars in this audience. But it was an exercise in humility. It was a profound exercise in humility for seven days. Just to be abdan min ibadina. Just to be that. Just to be a servant from within our servants. You see, Shah Wali Ullah Dahlbi rahimahullah said something beautiful, it stuck with me as soon as, since I heard it in my youth. He describes somebody who has true knowledge. He said, when a, when a tree bears fruit, its branches lower. When the tree bears fruit, it, its branches lower. The idea meaning if you've truly borne the fruit of knowledge, then there's a humility that impacts you. It, you, you come lower. You don't think of yourself as higher. When somebody's questioning you, criticizing you, in your head, you're not processing, who are you to ask me? Excuse me, what do you know? Are you even on YouTube? You're going to ask me? That's not what's going on in your head. That's not what's going on in my head. This is the attitude of Abdan min ibad.